Here we are again, FM20 MVP. It's me. <laughs> so we are going to do Watford at home and our first leg of the knockout rounds in the Champions League against Milan away. Just want to quickly go over what's already transpired in the Champions League first legs. Sevilla beating Liverpool, admittedly at home, but still, big result. Liverpool need to do the business at home if they want to continue through. And uh, PSG being beat 2-0 by Bayer Leverkusen, which, uh, I mean, they've still got a pretty incredible side. I mean, I know Edison's classed as one of the best goalkeepers in the world in this save, but I guess they're just no good without... Mbappe. Ah, oh, wow. I mean, they had 200 million to reinvest. So, Ooh. they've got it all to do, for sure. And uh, Bayern Munich beating Real Madrid 1 0. Not overly surprising, but we'll see what happens in the next round. Um, Watford, first and foremost. Fifth, doing rather well. Still some way off us, but doing very well for Watford. Um, we have to take them sort of seriously, but the Champions League game is in three days. So we're feeling very much the B team here because a draw or a loss in the Premier League is 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 fine now before this really important Champions League fixture away against Milan, who are top of the league, I believe. Yeah, top of the league. So that's, that's the one we need to take very, very seriously. Um, slight worry. Rashford's out with a thigh injury, groin strain. Two to four weeks. We've got plenty of other options, but he will be a miss. That's for sure. Uh, let's go to tactics. Because we're at home and we'll definitely have the line share of possession, I'm going to stick with the 4-2. 2-2, two, two, or the 4-2-4. Four, four. Um, Diabala gets a start with Leao. Going to start Ronaldo. He's not really going to start against uh, against Milan, so we may as well utilise him now. If, if he doesn't have the best of games or he gets a bit tired, Sane is waiting on the on the bench to come in. Um, the midfield's probably our weakest pairing. Luis is great, but defensive minded so we're relying on Donny van der Beek to step up and uh, provide some wonderful balls in to score <laughs> all right let's uh let's do it oh can't forget Kikuchi he starts Bissaka is still struggling for fitness but this is why we're playing him in these kind of games so he can uh, build up and be around the first team again Donny taking the, uh, the captain's armband today. Uh, as you can see, Werner up top. Stayed with us for just under three seasons, I think it was in the end. And he's done wonders for this Watford team. I think they've gone rather defensive, though. They normally play with Suarez and Werner, so showing us a bit of respect, which might not have been smart, considering our midfield's quite weak. But we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. We are favourites. Let's go out there and do the business. Cheers. Starting off with a good amount of possession, as to be expected. Still not a lot happening with shots wise, picking up. Watford kick out. Barbosa takes the ball, goes down the wing. Leao finds himself in the centre, unmarked, and tucks it away. Leao is really starting to find his feet now, and we can start relying on him for goals. Got the uh, important one in the previous game as well. Very similar goal, to be honest. Good finish, just inside the post. Excellent stuff. Just what we needed. A positive start. And hopefully that'll uh, 
Den Watford's hopes. Uh, this is still going on from the kickoff. Watford still with possession. Decore, Pavion, Kenne. Kenne. <laughs> what a name. <laughs> Wambasaka picks it up. Ronaldo. Counter attack. Diabal is running through. There's four of them around him. I'd have been very impressed if he'd managed to do something with that. Another Watford replay. Pavon puts in the ball. De Gea collects. De Gea has not even been a question mark really yet. He's, he's still early 30s. It's still amazing. Um, Dean Henderson's been good when he's been called upon in the very rare occasion that De Gea has been injured. Kenny has the ball to Corre. Spreads it out to the left. Wambasaka doesn't deal with it. It's a let off there. Big, big let off. Plenty of highlights coming thick and fast now. Kikuchi out to Regulon who puts the ball forward. Leao. Probably should have had his second of the game there. I mean, it counted as a clear cut chance when the, uh, the goal didn't, so it was an easier chance. Just the goalkeeper to beat. Oh! Oh, Ronaldo hitting the post from outside the box. Oh, I was, I was that close to going berserk. Ah, oh, that would have been something. Leao just heads over there. Diabala being nervous is uh, interesting. I mean, he does get nervous over big games, but I'm not sure I'd count this as a big game. Um, stats wise very impressive exactly what we want we probably want more in the way of goals after six shots on target but we'll be fine Louise uncharacteristically making some mistakes but hasn't punished us so far I know they're capable of better but I don't think there's any point in changing anything right now Wambasaka with the throw to Barbosa puts it across Ronaldo Gotta be scoring those, man. Come on, Ronnie. You know you're better than that. Kikuchi wins the header. Fiorentino. Ronaldo out wide. Van der Beek. Back out to Ronaldo. Gets past his man. Diabala. Ah, blocked. Mm. All the way back. Oh, Werner steals it from Kikuchi. He could be in. De Gea with the save. <laughs> God, I hate playing against players who used to play for me. Especially one like Timo Werner. And you just like, you know he's going to score. Uh, I'm going to drop down to positive. Because I feel like they're going more on the offensive now. Regulon out wide. Puts the ball across for Leao. Managed to clear it for a corner. Diabala with the corner. Cleared. I'm assuming that'll be the end of the uh, highlight. Yep. Let's uh, let's get creative. Let's see if we can do something. Diabal is not having a good one at all. We'll ask Van der Beek to lean off the challenges. Uh, would it be wrong to demand more? Let's find out. Oh, Wamasaka taking a knock there. Let's uh, let's get him off. Max Aaron's will be fine for the uh, the next game. Only playing fifteen minutes of this one. I do want to take Dybala off. Let's have him back up top for a little bit. See if he can work his magic. Ronaldo not having the best game either. Let's bring Sane on, and we'll finish like that. It would be uh, pretty disappointing to concede now, but I don't think we will. No. So, 1-0 on the balance of it. Probably a fair result. A couple of our players having a bad game. Dybala, Florentino having a good overall rating despite his mistakes. Kikuchi nearly costing us, but thank you to Gea. Um, 
luckily Timo didn't didn't work his magic against us. So that was a uh, was a close tie, but right result in the end. So this is how we're going to line up against Milan. We're gonna have Greenwood and Kane up top, Bappy on the right, Fernandez and Neves in the centre. Um, Sane is the only inclusion that probably isn't for the norm. Obviously, with Rashford injured, we played uh, Ronaldo there last game. Uh, Leao can play on the left as well, and we score. We saw, we saw him score. Uh, in from that position a few games ago, so that's uh, that's the way we're going to set up as the strongest team possible. So, tiny, tiny, tiny issue just occurred, and I ran out of space on my hard drive, and the uh, <laughs> the recording stopped. So I just played the. Uh, the away leg in the Champions League against Milan, not recording. So I thought I'd just quickly give you a rundown of what happened because it was a really exciting game, really hard fought um, and super interesting. Um, obviously, 3-1 win is, is huge, but it's not the whole story. Um, I'll quickly take you through the goals so you see the highs and the lows. So we start off with a pretty even nil nil half time score and well that wasn't until Mbappe on the counter charges forward and puts it on a plate for Sane who heads home against Donnarumma he does get a hand to it but too much on it for him um, so very very glad to get the away goal but then Belotti pulls this out of nowhere runs around three of our world class defenders like they're not even there and gives Fabian a tap in I mean, he, De Gea gets a hand, but he's, he's so close to it. He's never missing from there. So that was, you know, that that, that that hurt a little bit. But at this point, I was like, you know what? 1-1, one, one, I'll take it. We can go back home and we can push on from there, you know. But Milan went for it. They fully, fully went for it. And were the architects of their own demise, really. Because in going for it, they gave away the ball cheaply. As you'll see here, Leao gets on it and he plays Mbappe through and Mbappe tucks it away beautifully and that's what Mbappe does. You know, he's worth every penny of that 200 million because he pops up with big goals in big games and, you know, the, the, the goal cushion to take back home with two away goals. I was more than happy with that. But then Milan didn't get the message. Donnarumma Gives it gives the possession away cheaply to Sane from a poor goal kick, and uh, Sane feeds Leao, who beats Donnarumma, is near post to score against his former club, and does he celebrate? You know he celebrates. He loved it, absolutely loved it. So obviously I had to catch you up on that because it was it was a great game. So uh, really happy with that, really really happy. So uh, I'm thinking. We should be able to push on now and get to the next round. No problem. I, I shouldn't say that too early, should I? <laughs> anyway, next time is going to be a uh, Liverpool Caviero Cup final, uh, followed by the fifth leg of the FA Cup against Chelsea away. So two tough games. it would be interesting to see San a fully fit Sancho uh, at Liverpool and see if we can uh, deal with him. Anyway, that's for next time, and I will see 